Dwayne Jean Digger Carey was born on April 30th, 1957 in St. Paul, Minnesota. His parents were very young when they married and then divorced when Dwayne was six years old. He lived in the project for six years with his mother and two siblings. While in teen years, Digger read a lot of science fiction books. He graduated from Highland Park High School in 1975. Um, after I left high school, I didn't, go to, didn't want to go to college. I wanted to see the world on my motorcycle. For the next few years, he motorcycled, hitchhiked, and hopped freight trains all over North America, working a variety of jobs to earn his living. Digger eventually decided to join the armed forces. So in the fall of 1977, he commenced the University of Minnesota and joined the Air Force. Digger graduated with the Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering in 1982. He deployed to Inkerlink Air Base in the Republic of Turkey in 1988. He flew over 30 combat missions in support of Operation Desert Storm and led a 60 aircraft multi-nation strike package on a bombing mission over Baghdad, Iraq. In 1996, Digger was invited by NASA to join the Astronaut Corps as a space shuttle pilot. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, main engine start, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia to broaden our view of the universe through the Hubble Space Telescope. Full program. Roger roll, Columbia. Uh, some things are better left unspoken. Uh, eight and a half minutes later, we were in orbit. Then uh, it's time to get the orbiter ready, unpack everything that was packed away for the launch, and get prepared for flight day three, which was the rendezvous with the Hubble Space Telescope. We rendezvoused up from below, uh, came up till it was just hanging there, perched above the payload bay. This is a shot of the uh, flight deck during the rendezvous. You can see that uh, we're working there in Columbia. Rick Linehan was our handheld laser operator. That's what gave us our ranges to the telescope when we first looked out to see it. For me, the best part of being an astronaut was a feeling of doing something that not only was fun, but something that would help Americans, something that would help everybody on Earth, and that is uh, a mission to the Hubble Space Telescope enabled us to make the telescope better and enabled the telescope to give us more information about our universe. And, you know, the, uh, the pursuit of knowledge, the pursuit of questions like, where did we come from? Where did it start? Where is the universe headed? Those are the most basic questions we have, and I believe it's very noble to spend your life in the pursuit of trying to answer those questions. And it was very important to me, after all the things that I'd done in life, it was very important to me to spend a portion of my career doing something that I feel was good for not only all Americans, but good for all people on Earth. It was very, very important, and it made me feel so good inside. Digger and his crew completed 165 orbits of the Earth and traveled over 3.9 million miles. It was Columbia's last complete mission. Digger left NASA and retired from the United States Air Force as a lieutenant colonel. Dwayne Jean Digger Carey was awarded several awards, including the Distinguished Flying Cross and the American Motorcyclist Association Hazel Cole Brighter Image Award. Digger and Cheryl started 180 Out Inc., helping to educate young people and other Americans about the importance of America's exploration in 2005. He also employs his uplifting personal story to entertain and motivate corporate and professional audiences. Now Digger visits 50 to 60 schools a year and two to three schools a day. Digger came to Baird Middle School this last October and shared his story with the students and staff at Baird Middle School. The students were able to ask questions about Digger's time and space. While he was at Baird, he shared with us a video of his crew in the Columbian shuttle and talked about his experience in space. Here is one of the many famous quotes that Digger shared with us. Give yourself a fair chance in life. Put yourself in a position where nobody can tell you no. And you can do that. You give yourself the power up here, and then nobody can tell you what you can and can't do. You decide what it is that you want to do, and you go off and do it. It was a great experience to have Digger talk to the eighth grade students at Bear Middle School. All in all, it has been a great opportunity to meet Dwayne Jean Digger Carey.